Hello and welcome to Let's Play The Chuck's Revenge. Uh, it's that time again, Monkey Island. Uh, this game was released in 1991 and was the second instalment in the Monkey Island franchise. Uh, it was generally well received by game critics, but it, this game is actually my least favourite of the Monkey Island series. Okay. <laughs> I'm just not a fan, you know, it's just one of those things. Uh, again, I'm going to be playing uh, the fully voiced special edition version that is currently available on Steam. Uh, again, it's got improved um, graphics and, impro and uh, it's fully voiced by all the actors. So, hopefully... Um, you'll uh, enjoy this uh, playthrough. Probably more than I will. <laughs> so let us begin. Well, well, well. Guy Brush Threepwood. You do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you could help me out? How did you get into this mess? <laughs> it's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait! And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah. If I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself! Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about LeChuck anymore. Ha! Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. And that... Oh, here we go. Guybrush uh, waiting for the screen to load. Oh, look at all that cool stuff we've got, and for some reason we have the audio commentary which we're not going to listen to because you'd prefer to listen to the gameplay and my wonderful voice. Well, the gameplay at least. Okay, so let's just, I'm just going to have a quick look at my settings to make sure that I've got everything set up right. One sec. Okay, and now we've got subtitles up and running, so if I happen to talk over some dialogue you won't um, be annoyed at me. Oh, there's a sign by here. Welcome to Woodtick. No treasure hunting zone. Oh dear. So look. Now, as you can see, the UI again has changed slightly. Um, I've n only had a couple of goes at this, so if I make a few muck ups, I might end up going back to the old um, uh, UI from the original game, but we'll still see. Oops. Ooh. I think I broke the sign. But I do have a treasure. I do have a um, a, a shovel now, which is always useful. So, the best place to charter a ship would be in town to see if we can find the local pirate bar. Oh, who's this? Where do you think you're going, fancy pants? You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. Uh... Is this some sort of bribe situation? 
Why am I reading this? Sorry, I've been too too um, uh, engrossed in Dragon Age of late that I forgot. I don't actually need to read the um, uh, <laughs> stuff anymore. Is this some sort of bribe situation? No, more like extortion. Here, allow me to demonstrate. Help! 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 Police! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want. There's no police on Scab Island. Then who eats the donuts and roughs up the transients? I roughs up on needs roughing up on this island. Hey, you're loaded. This is my lucky night. Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Legrand. Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. Okay, so let's have a quick look. Oh, and all our cool stuff that we saw is gone. Damn, now how are we going to do? Manage. Oh well, the same way Guy Brush always manages. Do it by the seat of his pants. Ooh, Woodsmith. Ooh, Calendar. Oh boy, it's Buzzsaw Girl. No one touches her but me. Oh, that's a challenge. Get away from there! No one touches her but me. <laughs> okay, let's talk to this guy. Oh, not as usual. Not exactly fond of the new way of the uh, new year. <clears throat> yeah. What's the problem with it? What's the problem with that Largo guy? He really goes against my grain. I'd like to make an end table out of him, but I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an all-night tattoo parlor? No. Like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Oh. Hmm. Uh. Nice apron. Are you some sort of chef? No. I'm a woodsmith, which gives one of us an excuse for dressing funny. <laughs> okay. I apologize profusely. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. Huh. But if a woodchuck could chuck and woodchuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood, and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? Oh, a woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut up. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Okay. Nice peg leg. Thanks. I made it myself. It says Woody. That's me. Hey, don't touch that! It's not a toy. Hmm. Well, you know, the old adventurers thing. Pick up anything that's not What do you think down. you're doing? Or, in, it seems everything is nailed down. I wonder if we should get rid of him somehow. Oh, I wish I could get rid of that. I wonder if there's a way to do it. I don't want the audio commentary. Stop asking me about it. The Bloody Lip Bar and Grill. Hmm, let's see what's down here. Hmm, barkeep. It reads JoJo, appearing nightly, no cover charge. No thanks. Too many bad memories of piano lessons. It's a metronome. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? How's business? How's business? It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Largo's got all my regulars spooked. You know, I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. You there! 
Uh oh. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. Oh, I hate this game sometimes. Fork over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. From your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. Gross, gross, and oh yeah, gross. Yes, this is the reason why I don't like. This Excuse game me. Much. Yeah, boy. Huh. Want to see my scar? Depends. Is there a good story behind it? As a matter of fact, there is. It's a story of the ghost pirate LeChuck and his gruesome demise. Heard it. This is the one where he drinks too much root beer and burps so hard he explodes, right? Not exactly. Frankly, I don't care much for stories that promote moderation in drinking. I do have a business to run, you know. <laughs> Grog, please. Shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Maybe you'd like a Shirley Temple instead. I'm old enough. Look at my beard. Ha! <laughs> That's the oldest trick in the book. Tell you what, I'll let you have some near grog. Doesn't have any alcohol in it. But it's just as nasty smelling and foul tasting as that stuff grown-ups drink. Right on. Oh, wait. What am I saying? I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Rats. Of course, if you have some ID. Uh, I must have left my ID? I must have left my ID in my other pants. You'll have to do better than that. No ID, no service. Right, I have to stop, uh... Tell, um... Oh, no, I forgot about going to the store. Uh, reading out the, uh... Hey! Hired help only! Uh, I'll have to stop reading out the, um... Uh, the dialogue options. I'm not playing Dragon Age now. Okay. Help wanted. One week's salary in advance. Inquire below. Well, that's an inquire below. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Mm. Who is this Kate person? Ah, the courageous Captain Kate Capsize. Tough as steel, sharp as nails. She rents her ship out. Does some freelance pirating. Her only loyalty is to the highest bidder. Don't get on her bad side. Hmm, okay. I saw your sign outside. What's the job? Oh, yeah. I really should take that thing down. I hired a new cook just this morning. But if things don't work out with him, I'll let you know. Damn. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. So let's see what else we can find. What a dinky little door. Hello. Let's talk to the cartographer. Maybe he has a map of big for Big Whoop. Which is the uh, excuse me. Size. Oh, uh yes. Hi there. Can I help you? Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, LeChuck Busting Stud. Uh-huh. Okay, then. Uh, excuse me. Yes? Uh... Excuse me, do you know anything about Big Whoop? Uh-oh, who sent you here? I should warn you, I'm heavily armed. <laughs> I was sent by the IRS. Let me see your files. The who? You better not try for my files. All my research on Big Whoop is in there. Are you looking for Big Whoop too? Well, I haven't really been able to find out much hard information. What do you know about it? I know I'm looking for it, and that's about it. You mean you never heard of the four men who buried it? Tell me about it. No, tell me all about it. 
Well, all anyone knows for sure is that there was a shipwreck. The merchant vessel Elaine went down in a terrible storm. Elaine? Only four crew members survived. They washed up on a remote deserted island. Some say its name was Inky Island, but I don't believe that. Huh. Why don't you believe it? Well, why don't you believe it? Because there's no such island. Anyway, that's where they supposedly found Big Whoop. But what is Big Whoop? Whatever it was, it was so wonderful, or so horrible, that they never wanted anyone else to find it. So, they took the map they made of the island and split it up among the four of them, and they all went their separate ways. Ooh. Wow. That's some story. Of course, it could just be an old legend, but if I could just see the map of that island, I bet I could recognize the shape of the land and track it down myself. My name's Guybrush. Who are you? Wally. Wally B. Feed. At your service. Okay. What exactly do you do here? I'm a cartographer. You do open heart surgery? In here? Uh, no. I'm the map making sort of cartographer. Oh. Maps. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, uh, see ya. Okie dokie. Okay, I'm going to end the video there, and in the next video we're going to uh, talk a bit more to Wally, and then we're going to see who else, and what else we can find on this wonderful island of Scab. Sarcasm not included. <laughs> Ta-ta for now. See you soon.